Hey, it's Tuesday afternoon. Good afternoon to you all. Perhaps it's the middle of the night if my gorgeous Edward is here with me today. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone just while I get this phone organised, just in case I can't see messages today. Who knows? Hey. Right, T.O. Mm -mm. There we go. Right, well that's that part on. Hello, I can see that there is some gorgeous people here with me. So what excitement can we get up to today? Ah, thank you very much, very much. Hearts and love back to you too, for those who are sending it through. Good afternoon, Carmel, Veronica. Hello, Elsie. Hi, Deb, how are we all doing? Oh, cool. I've got uh, comments on both screens, how to confuse myself and everybody else what fun shall we have today i think i might do um let me see some channeled messages for you <clears throat> now before we get underway hi dolls from a sydney town um please know and i'm just loving your love and i send it back to you and hope that you're all very well and managing the craziness of now hi johnny retro good to see you here um i don't choose okay um i noticed a couple of messages last week of people not being um or not being happy being disappointed that they didn't get any messages <laughs> thanks so much for the hearts we really love it um and appreciate it i appreciate you being here with me very much but for those that were you know bit cranky that they didn't get uh, to get a message or a reading hello Casey I am love and I hope you are too um, I hope your heart is good Casey so for those um, oh gee you dropped by the wayside really quick people very shallow very superficial um, mm -hmm. those who don't get a message it really isn't up to me you know I am a, a full pure channel of the divine so they take me to wherever they want to go it's actually nothing to do with me i have the privilege of zipping off out to the cosmos um, while they bring through the messages for you and then i'm guided to bring through hi tanya good to see you here love um bring through whatever they wish to talk about sometimes i think i know what i'm going to talk about and then it just doesn't happen it's not for me to um to say but on that different note i do have some um i i am so so grateful of your appreciation um i really appreciate you being here so thank you for the hearts and the caring and everything it's, it's just beautiful um but you know sometimes there's some things that i'd like to share with you of the experiences i've had with spirit um oh good casey glad to hear it um, the, the different things that I've experienced through my life with spirit and with healing, um, with what we would call ghosts, not always good fun, I can tell you, with ghosts. Penny, darling, hello. And the big, big thing for me here is that while I sit with you, Zane, that's a really uh, interesting place to be coming in from. What are you doing there? Goodness me. I hope that you're okay. And that actually leads me into what I was about to say and how very appropriate for Zane, and I do hope I'm saying your name correctly. When you sit with me and you come to join with me on these sessions, or if you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, um, <clears throat> you receive healing energy because i am so very honored and privileged to bring through the healing energy of the divine so when you sit with me today when you sit with me any tuesday even if you don't receive a direct channeled message 
you will receive healing light. You will receive the healing energy. And you know what? That healing energy is also full of love, of joy and peace. So if you stay with me here, our first time, welcome Angie Marie, welcome. Um, if you sit with me through our time together, you are going to receive some beautiful healing energy and whether I take you through a healing meditation or healing guidance, it is going to be there for you for this time ah, that we sit together. So Facebook being funny and um, they're having trouble playing the video, they say. So let's go across to the phone. <laughs> this is going to be interesting now. Hi, Jasmine. Lovely to see you also. Jasmine Louise, gorgeous. Oh dear, let me see if I can crank this back on again and see what's going on. Hi Antoinette, I'm very well, thank you. You're welcome Elkie and welcome uh, to being here with me for the first time. So now I'm, I'm looking at two screens. Let's see what the divine wishes to bring through for you and also um, anything that is going to <clears throat> From, hi Mike from California, how is it over there? How's the world going in downtown California? Great to have you here Mike, welcome. Welcome everybody. So let's see what I can have for you today. One of the things that I was uh, speaking about on, um, on a show on one of my programs earlier today was our extrasensory perception. Do you all remember the movie Sixth Sense? It was one of my favourite ghost movies and that's actually what my life has been about a lot of the time. So if you ever saw the Sixth Sense, um, that's how it's been for me walking in, in my shoes. Uh, a little bit of fun, you could say, not. <laughs> so now with the big push for people to be pulled more and more away from being able to hear their own inner guidance, from being able to, to be their own master of their own life, to being able to um, own their heart and be able to connect to their own inner wisdom, the uh, powers that be keep misleading people. Hello Kay, welcome. Um, keep misleading people and taking them away by using you know science-based evidence and uh, everything that is true through science well I can tell you now that anything could be true through science because they can marry it up um, <laughs> yes it's an awesome movie isn't it Janine they can marry it up to bring out the um, the results that they want and that's that's simple and straightforward right so now they've decided that ESP, extrasensory perception, your sixth sense, hello Anne-Marie Bell, is actually proprioceptive, your sense of proprioception. What a load of hogwash. When I did my training as a master personal trainer and then went on to become a BOSU uh, certified trainer, we learned all about proprioceptive centers of the body and the Golgi organ tendons and you know all these luscious things about the body. And proprioceptive is your sense of where your arm is, where your hand is when you've got it away from your body and what you can feel. But they are trying to mislead people again and pull them away from the truth of your own deeper spirit and the magic and the power of your true essence by saying this absolute garbage um, that is all you know science based evidence based so and I'm saying absolute garbage because of their agenda to take you away from you being able to be the greatest source of your own wisdom the greatest source of your own knowings and and all the beauty that you are so ESP, extrasensory perception, is your intuition and nothing, 
nothing can ever separate you from your intuition because it is innate to you it is who you are you can damage your um thank you trish um you can damage your connection to your intuition through drugs through alcohol through crappy food um, and getting yourself into states of overwhelm and anxiety but you can never ever be separated from it so let's have a look at your ESP and where you're at with it and how you're using it to guide you in your life and I'm going to help you reconnect so that you can really get that beautiful wisdom that is innate to you and who you are just through sitting with you today. I don't need to do anything. Um, you don't need to do anything. You just need to be here because uh, magic is the place where I like, to, um, I like to go and like to work from. And... Asia, mm -mm. Hi, Veronica. Yes, always follow your intuition. Rach Hines. You're very welcome and thank you for your kind words, Rach. I'm kind of all over the place here because one minute the camera's working and then it's not. So my apologies if it looks like I'm darting all over the place. Healing energy. For every one of you that is here with me right now, I am going to reach out to you and I am going to imbibe you in the most beautiful egg of rainbow coloured energy. Why not? I love colours and I think colours do our soul and our heart the world of good. But of course, the colours of the rainbow are also the colours of our main chakras. And then I'm going to add the most beautiful golden light and bring that in from heaven's light and from the angels because that's the only place I work. I don't work with the universe. I don't work with source. I have one preference, I have a gold line telephone, direct, direct to heaven, direct to what I call God. Now if the almighty divine or the divine or something like that is more your, your gig, that's absolutely fine. But while you sit with me, I am going to reach every one of you and I'm going to pour over you a light of rainbow colours that is going to encompass you while you sit with me all around you like the most beautiful egg. Have you ever seen a Fabergé egg? They are very expensive and very beautiful so I'm going to create a Fabergé egg around you and bring my healing energy into every single cell of your body. Now if you have got any form of um, discord what's been labeled as an illness one of my beautiful ladies is here today and has been having a very difficult time with being told labels of what's wrong in her body well you're going to feel heat you're going to feel heat anywhere where there is discord in the cells of your body and that is part of this beautiful Fabergé egg that I'm going to wrap you up in. I might thank you. You're welcome, Carmel. And then from the top of you, hi Janine. Yes, I love the rainbows back. Thanks, guys. From the top of you, I'm going to pour through the most beautiful liquid gold. Liquid gold energy and it is just going to run through every single cell of your body. When that liquid gold comes through to you and goes down to your feet, it is going to go out into Mother Earth, be released, and then it's going to come back up through your feet. And through your feet, I'm going to bring all the minerals and the vitamins of Mother Earth that she holds in her deepest parts. So down underneath the ground that you stand on, now I'm going way beyond that and I'm going to bring up into you vitamins, minerals, nutrients, all the richness that Mother Earth has in her and bring it up through your feet. And I'm going to take that right up, right up over the top of you and wash it down over your back. And the reason I wash it down over your back is to remove I'm going to use all those nutrients and vitamins and minerals and I'm going to remove 
all the toxins, the heavy metals and the tension and everything that is in the cells in your body and wash them back away through Mother Earth. She can disperse of them beautifully for us because this is done in divine light. So enjoy the rainbow, enjoy the beautiful Fabergé egg that is just for you. And as I work through that, our lovely Tanya, take it all up and allow it to come through because sitting with me, you have given me permission to be able to reach into you. Um, whether you realise that or not, but by being here with me, you have actually given me permission to look into you and to be able to go into the cells of your body mm -hmm. and into you in every area of your energy bodies. I'm just going to read Dahl's Wickman's um, comment before they disappear. Uh, <laughs> sure, Dahl's, we can extend, uh, extend that out. So I'm going to ask you just for a few moments until we get underway with some other beautiful things. I want you to close your eyes so that I can reach every one of you and I'm going to activate that, shab, um, that Fabergé egg in those beautiful rainbow colours. I'm going to activate them from your feet. So at your feet you have all the beauty of Mother Earth and that means we have all the elements of wind, fire, earth, soil, water, air. And they are circling around your feet, cleansing your feet and preparing. And then as we come up your legs and around your legs, I have the most beautiful okra red, beautiful, deep, rich okra red that is going to swirl up around your legs and come up around your pelvic bowl. And then a little higher up into the magnificent burnt orange that will swirl around the mid area of the abdomen and at the same time all the colours of the rainbow are pouring down over you and under. It is a constant movement of this energy, of this healing energy of all the lights and rays of the rainbow. And moving up your body a little more now, we have a sunburst of the most beautiful sunburst yellow that bursts out across your abdomen, swirling in the most peaceful, joyous way. Coming up a little more now as those rainbow colours pour down from the top of your head and right over the body under your feet. But now we come up around the chest area and the heart and we have the most beautiful, intense emerald green. And around the emerald green is a soft rose pink. As your heart beats, you feel that emerald green pulsing at the same time as your heartbeat. And with every beat and that emerald green light that shines out not only through your body but out into the world and the beautiful soft pink that surrounds it where you offer love to others as your heart beats and you bring love to yourself. And we go higher up to the throat area and now like a magnificent silken scarf is ocean blue and there are ripples of ocean blue water that gently wisp across your throat, easing the throat and the jaw. And then up around the third eye where we have that magnificent indigo like a star as it shines from the third eye and then to the crown, the most beautiful violet light. Now see that gold stream, that magnificent liquid gold as I pour it down from the top of your head right down through the centre of your body to your feet. And it spans out through every energy body that you are. Cleansing and clearing all that is toxic, all that is old and are no longer of service to you. And 
down your back now a beautiful cascade of waterfall as it releases all toxicity all things that are not of service to any of the cells of your body and as you take a breath in and before you open your eyes I want you to feel into the buzzing into the beautiful light vibration that you can feel going through every part of your body and then when you're ready very softly open your eyes very softly allow them to come back into this space gently and with love and kindness compassion for yourself and then allow them to see into this third dimensional world as to where you are now and back with me Let yourself sit in that lovely Fabergé egg of rainbow colours and feel all of that beauty coming up from the earth, the vitamins, minerals and nutrients. Feel the aliveness that comes through every part of you now. Your mind is lighter, it's brighter, your heart is is more joyous and full and now see which color really stands out to you which color is it let me know which color that you have really felt connected to penny thank you for the rainbow colored hearts god bless you darling and back to you Oh, beautiful, Mike, the emerald green and rose quartz. All love for you. Oh, that's awesome, Casey. Awesome. Thank you, Janine. So now that I have you in this space of being able to... Um, being able to have every single cell of your body in a different level of vibration... We're now going to reach into your intuition and allow you to be able to hear, oh, the blue and the violet, Tanya, blue, hey? So we've got some work going on in the throat chakra and clearing away, but it's a lot lighter now and easier for you. Casey, with your violet, this is in answer to you reaching to your higher self, but remember to reach to your higher self and not externally. The pink rose quartz, Elsie, that's beautiful. Um, and ocean blue, Veronica, oh, magnificent. And again, into the throat chakras. So you see each one where there is a colour that has been more prominent, this is the chakra that needs a little bit more attention. Not now. All of those chakras have now just had a lovely re, um, revamp like a beautiful big spring clean some people would call them um, being realigned or reactivated oh love that rach the burnt orange that's beautiful remember always to give you hi willie oh you just missed it tell him everyone willie just missed the most beautiful healing meditation um, being wrapped up in a fabergé egg but Willie, I'm going to say I'm going to still wrap you up in the most beautiful rainbow-coloured Fabergé egg of healing energy, cleansing energy, and a nice revamp for you. Um, enjoy and relax day with the sun. Oh, lovely. Someone's got some sunshine. So, yes, realign. So everything now, when we call it realigned, you know, it's a little bit like people saying that they've been to the chiropractor to have their, um, their back put in place because their back was out. Well, as a nurse and holistic practitioner, I can tell you your back never goes out. It, it physically cannot go out. What happens is the facet joints become jammed and locked and then the muscles fire up around them and go into spasms, you know. So... Don't be duped by that. So having your chakras realigned, we can't actually realign them. What we can do is get them to spin in the vibration that they're meant to spin in and also be the size because your chakras are not little. They're like you. They're huge. However, 
If you are in a state of unwellness, worry, fear, anxiety, fretting about money, then they they don't rotate at the speed that is a, a good service to you and they can become stagnant or almost to a halt. They can't actually stop because they are the energy of your soul. So if they stop, you're in trouble, right? Um, <laughs> Spiritual Events Directory, it's you with the sunshine. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is commenting as the admin. Is that you, Trish Murray? Um, Kay Hamilton. <laughs> Thanks, Kay. So, oh, sunshine in Tassie. Beautiful. So let's go back to having a look at every single cell in your body and why is that important? Because if you want to create abundance, if you want to be able to shift things out of your life, then the cells of your body need to be working and clean and crisp and they need to be working succinctly with your chakras. So allowing yourself to ground, getting outside, putting your feet on the ground and letting all of that beautiful energy Mother Earth has for you, allowing that to come up through your feet, that's where you're going to be able to cleanse, rejuvenate and feel great. If you draw it all the way up and over the back of you and wash it away again, well, you'll feel really buzzy like the Energizer Bunny. So let me have a look and see what messages we have. Willie Reagan, I'm going straight to you today. So... Willie Reagan, we want for you to be able to harness more of the work that really sits in your heart and you also need to take more care when you are out and about, um, particularly when you're in the car, Willie, because quite often when you're in the car, you're, you're going off to La La Land where you can call for the angels to come and drive for you, right? That, that's fine. But you need to be more present when you're driving and also um, calm your mind a little bit. It's too much off into what's next, what's next, where am I going next? And also for other people, you're also concerned about your partner. Um, you have some reserve here that you're just about choking on Willie and that's your concern about your partner. You do have reason to be concerned, but if your partner would go and find out and do a little bit of uh, self-care, the issue that is there will go away. Mike Walker, awesome, you're grounded. Mike Walker, you're actually um, coming up for a change, not, not generic, okay, everyone? We don't do generic. But Mike Walker, you are coming up towards crossroads in your life. Now, crossroads are really tricky. They're a pain in the neck for some people. This is a time for you to make sure you are very grounded and chilled at the same time, Mike, because crossroads are very exhausting and most often people want to push past them. Thank you, Laurie. Most people want to push past um, crossroads because they feel like they can't make any decisions. Fact is, you're not supposed to. So, Mike, really work on that groundedness and allow things to come your way. Look at them as they come. Become the observer. Look at them as they come and let them flow by. This is not a decision-making time for you, Mike. This is simply an observation. Kick back in a hammock. Just go with the flow very much. Um, Rachel, thank you very much. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. Thanks, Willie. Yes, he does, love. He does. He needs to... Uh, he needs to man up to looking after himself and stop leaning on you for looking after him. That's the key here. And you stop running away, trying to make him man up to look after himself. Got it? <laughs> Carmel, thank you. I love sunshine. I love roses and love. Always been in love with love, you know. I <laughs> wonder if that's why I got married so many times. So, Carmel, let's have a look at you. And it's interesting that you've put the heart there in your emojis for me, which I absolutely love. Uh, whoa, there's the observer message. Um, yeah, you're welcome, Mike. Um, Carmel, <clears throat> Carmel Gillette Innes, this is for you. You actually need to go into your heart, darling, and be able to bring more calm and acceptance 
So really accept what has been that you've not been able to be in control of. It's been a difficult time for you observing others or seeing what's going on in other people's lives and it really frets your heart. Step away, send them the love, send them the love and the care and may peace be with them. We just can't always have things be the way we want for other people. Um, Angie Marie Colavecchio, that's an awesome name, Angie Marie, and I hope I said the, the last part correctly. Um, Angie, your hips say that you've had quite a, uh, quite a bit of bother of being able to feel like you've got life going forward. There's a lot of stuckness in your hips and also in your pelvic area. So when I look in the pelvic area, um, blockages, constipation, difficulty going to the toilet, difficulty with periods, the, the womb and, and all that's in that pelvic arena. And this is your sense. Hi, um, Kirsten, thanks for the claps up. This is your sense of being stuck and not feeling that you can go forward with ease. Really need to work on that and allow yourself to let go of stuff. You know, there's a big problem here. <laughs> Way to go, Tanya. Uh, my sister always said that I had an addiction for um, wedding cake. <laughs> I gave it up a long time ago, by the way. <laughs> Um, hi Donna, Donna Steins, Gnau, lovely to um, lovely to have you here. Thank you, Carmel. Glad it does. Johnny Retro, let's have a look and see what's going on. Oh my word, feel like I want to do the splits with you, as if you're as if you're being pulled in half. This is um, a really vibrant picture with you, and it is very um, it's being used symbolically to describe the way that you feel like you're being torn in two, trying to go in two directions, but also being torn in two by other people's wants of you. Johnny Retro, one thing that you um, really need to give yourself more of a chance to do is to be more, tr more true to yourself. A lot of what you do is tremendous amount of giving to others and trying to give too much of yourself to others. It, that's never going to work. So really hone in. Now, to see your legs being um, pulled apart like a, a puppet being torn apart, this is all very much around first and second um, chakra, which goes to sense of security, sense of nurture. Those things are what you need to um, work on. Thank you, Angie. Really appreciate that. Elkie B. Oh, look, I do love these flowers and things and, and all your love. Thank you all so much. It's just beautiful. Elkie, a um, lot of disturbance around your throat chakra, but, honey, I'm also going to go up to your sinuses, up in here and out to your ears. Now, I get a sensation of having a lot of water as if I've got my head stuck under water here with you. This is Elkie B, um, and tenderness across my cheekbones, the sinus areas here. Now, Elkie, what is it that you don't want to hear? And what is it that you feel is making you be drowned out? Because that's the sense with, um, with water being in the ears. And the sinuses, when you get backed up sinuses, that's actually the large bowel that's not working properly. Claire Gibbons, good afternoon. How are you doing? Oh, thank you, Antoinette. That's, that's just wonderful. Um, my pleasure, Johnny. My pleasure. Please do sort that out. It's not very good having your legs being pulled apart in two directions, unless you like doing the splits. Um, Veronica Baskerville, gorgeous. You guys are, are ripping along with these beautiful emojis. Um, Claire, Claire Gibbon, very indecisive, love, very indecisive. <laughs> You know, it's time for you to really hone in to your truths. Um, you're misaligned when it comes to being able to live your values. Do you even know your values? Claire, you're a long way off your, your real path. You know, there's a lot of you being distracted and going off. It's like uh, the bower bird going off after shiny things and then you come back again and when you go driving, going down detours instead of going the right way or the, the easiest way. 
So Claire Gibbon, please come back to a place of being more centered in yourself and also being more true to what is important to you, right? Um, okay, I put my name. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Janice, a rear end in the car, that's never fun, love. And one of the main places, if you got a really good thump from behind, will be your um, uh, TJM. So this, the bottom jaw, right? And the, uh, the actual joint that's in here, that's one of the first things that's really affected with being hit from behind. And it's, God, it's awful. So this area is all around uh, freedom to speak and our sense of free, um, free will to be able to speak our mind. So Janice, you need to have a look at where you're at there. And what is it that you've been worried about sneaking up behind you? Janice Norrie, that's what I get with you, is a sense of um, being worried about something sneaking up behind you and, and get, catching you unawares, which is what's happened with this car accident, right? Now, a Cairo, well, you know, I'm an ex-theatre uh, scrub nurse, senior theatre scrub nurse, and our surgeons absolutely hated the work of chiropractors. I do apologise to anyone who's on here who is a Cairo. Um, you have your place, but I've seen the insides. Um, so, Janice, I would ask you to go more for resting, using hot packs, gentle movement, um, and particularly with your jaw, be very mindful of that. Um, Cecily, MC, how do you do? And welcome here. Where are you coming in from, please, Cecily? Regina, Regina has faith in me. I love that, Regina. You know, without faith, we get nowhere. Without faith, we don't have abundance. We don't have a well life. Without faith, we get very easily distracted by things. So that's, that's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm glad you have faith, Regina. And um, love your rainbows. The rainbows are a great signal from the um, from the angels. Hello, Kerry. How you doing, um, Regina? Uh, Regina has Faith McPhee. So one thing for you, love. I'm getting a lot of disturbance in my right arm and also in my right leg. Now this is the male side of um, of our energy fields of our body. So there is a little bit of imbalance and discord there, Regina, in regards to your, your male side. And you are also going through a shift of uh, understanding yourself more and not wanting to be in that male dominance. So really bring yourself back to a place of being balanced between the feminine and the masculine energy, the yin and the yang. Um, and also, for, um, Regina, one of the things that impacts you quite a lot is the shift of seasons. You are, you are really like the butterfly. So there are times where you need to be in the chrysalis and you need to be able to go through the caterpillar stage to re-emerge all the time. So you are constantly going through those different phases and your body responds to the, um, to the change in the seasons because of that. Um, Kerry, Kerry Forth, with your, um, with your beautiful hubby who is in spirit, um, he's certainly not alone and in this time where you have been feeling, um, some not so good stuff about being here through all of the turmoil that's been going on in this world, he is standing with not one but two ladies who are in spirit, Kerry, and they are from both his side of the family, a grandmother from his side and from your side, and you have the three of them who want you to know that everything is going to settle down because that's your main thing. I don't know if this is ever going to settle. I don't feel settled. So he and your grandmothers say they want you to know that, yes, everything will settle, but you need to be more patient <laughs> um, stop trying to make things be in the timeline that you want them to be in. Kelly Lee Young, thank you for the lovely big smile and the red heart. Um, Kelly, looking at your kidneys and your endocrine glands, 
they are rather overworked at the moment so you've got the adrenals on top of the kidneys and your endocrine system so they're both rather tense and there is quite a bit of tension in your body please um, use walking even some gentle downward dogs or forward folds and gentle back extensions to just release a lot of that tension and be prepared to um, say you know whatever I'm, I'm welcome it in that is good for me and you'll find that you you go really well um, thanks Casey um, Casey you have a new foal coming your way this foal has been abandoned so you've got the the most beautiful beautiful foal and is going to remind you of someone that you love very much who is still trotting around with you has not left you but is bringing you the gift of this gorgeous foal the foal has not been abandoned by its mother it's been abandoned by humans so what can we say um, so Casey you have this beautiful foal coming for you and oh my word isn't it going to be a love affair between the two of you absolutely gorgeous um, gee whiz wherever you go this foal is going to be enjoy enjoy this gorgeous gift Casey brought to you by your horse that's in spirit and also by an older gentleman actually lead uh, is leading with your horse Casey who went to spirit there's an older man walking around in spirit with your horse and they're having a lovely love affair together <laughs> um, Kirsten Dooley Kirsten I have got a drawstring bag that would have money in it and it's got a damn big hole in the bottom of it and you have a message from your guides to say you really need to put a uh, put a barrier they're saying actually a cement floor underneath your purse so you need to be a little bit more um, careful frugal with your money as it comes in Kirsten Dooley so be a little bit more cautious with what you think you want versus what you need less money spent on what you think you want and uh, more put away for yes that classic rainy day excuse me everyone um, <clears throat> Janice grinding your teeth love what is it that you just can't feel uh, that you can speak out and say freely and it's really annoying you getting stuck in your teeth you know it's like when you get that piece of uh, orange pip or something stuck in your teeth you just can't find the damn thing so there's something sticking in your craw, Janice, that you're grinding over at night. Um, wearing yourself down also. Really sort that out. Um, Adrienne Merritt. Thank you, lovely. Uh, Adrienne, I have got the presence of another person over the front of you. So I am going to clear them away without any questions. So... Um, you have actually had uh, quite a big shock to your heart but we're looking at like eight, um, 18 months ago Adrian Merritt and this came as quite a big shock to you it is a, a finish of a relationship now it doesn't actually look like it was a heart relationship for you but a very strong relationship for the other person so it's like having someone who wants to be in our heart wants to be in our life but we don't eventuate it to be a relationship but that person keeps holding on and hoping they've actually left an energetic imprint within your auric space and it is over your heart chakra and also all through your chest and down into your center of power so adrian Merritt, if you have not been having uh, random coughs and feel like you've just got this tiredness heaviness in your chest and I would be mighty surprised and also a feeling like you can't be as decisive as you normally are that's the presence of that person who has left their energy print in your aura gone now not to come back anymore 
Um, yes, LKB, it will take you a little bit. I'm, 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 I don't have the time to go right into it, but you can get the answers from that. Um, oh, cool, Rachel, your first time to listen as well. Where are you coming in from, please? Um, Raquel Pilani Neves Teff. Gee, you've got some awesome names for me today, guys. Um, okay. Cecily from Victoria. Hope you're doing fine over there, love. Um, Elsie, never from me, sweetheart. Always from the higher, highest of archangels and your personal guides. Now, Elsie, you speaking of your personal guides, you're actually uh, about to have a change of the guard. So you're about to have new guide come in to work with you which means you're about to start a new chapter of your life it is only going to be a short one three years this is a lovely time for you Elsie you also need to sort out some relationships around you and you're going to find they're going to go by the by so when people don't seem to be that keen to catch up with you um, or you feel like there's you know a bit of a, a distance between people you were close to don't worry about it all needs to be like that you're welcome Kerry um Tanya Tanya there's always something for you a bit of magic a bit of um a bit of elemental magic so Tanya you've got a really lovely connection to the elemental kingdom which is the fairies the elves the water nymphs the pixies oh the gnomes um, you know, all those gorgeous, gorgeous beings from uh, the elemental kingdom. Tanya, you're closely connected to them. And whenever you're feeling out of sorts, love, or you want some kind of a surety, go and sit in the garden. And if you can, sit on the ground where there is lushness, where there's a beautiful growth of garden because your friends, the fairies, the water nymphs, the elves, the pixies, They'll all come to sit around you. You know, that brings me to a story I'd like to share with you all. I was sitting at a um, girlfriend's place. She did actually used to work for me in my holistic health and wellness centre. And um, we were sitting out by her water feature and she'd gone in to see to her toddler uh, who was waking up from his nap. And while she was gone, I was looking at a, um, a succulent plant and it transformed. It transformed into this incredible fairy pixie. Uh, pixie had a little umbrella, had its whole gear on. It was just incredible. She came out um, from seeing to her toddler and noticed what I was looking at and smiling. And I was telepathically speaking to this beautiful elemental being. Um, and she was able to see it and she was totally blown away. She'd never had an experience like it, never seen anything like it. And I said to her, so whatever you do, don't throw that away because now you know what the spirit of that plant really is. It was absolutely gorgeous. You're welcome, Kelly Lee. Very lovely to have you here with us. Oh, that's awesome, Casey. Is your dad marching around? Well, yes, he's... Um, he certainly looks like a, a man that worked with horses and looks like a classic um, kind of farming man, a very earthy fellow. Um, Veronica Baskerville, what I'd like to say for you is there is a lot of tension um, around your head, but there is a terrific amount of tension coming in for you from an older man in your life. And it's like you are taking on that tension that he holds in his, um, in his head. And a lot of that is worrying. Oh, that's okay, Dals. No problem. Thank you for coming back. Um, Veronica, you, I, I hope that you were here for the, um, the initial opening today where I put you all in the rainbow uh, Fabergé egg and the gold light because you really need to have that come down through this area of your body and clear away a lot of that clogged up thinking and just too many what ifs and you know what could be and this might happen Veronica love get outside and take up some sunshine really break away from the noise of your mind um 
Oh, you're welcome, Kirsten. You're welcome, love. Yep. Sit with it and really see why why it is that you are putting yourself into that pain by not having enough. So what is it you don't really have enough of? And the money is symbolic of that. Thank you, Antoinette and Rach. You're welcome, everybody. Cord cutting, uh, yeah, you can do it really well. It doesn't always work. You've got to really know your stuff. From Hawaii, Rachel, well, thank you so much for coming in today. That is just wonderful. Um, so, nice to, so nice to have you here. Carolyn, where are you coming in from? Um, crazy dreams. Well, the crazy dreams on a metaphysical level, a physio physiological level, everyone, crazy dreams can actually be because there is too much heat in your liver and your spleen is not working well. So um, when our liver is out of sorts and it has too much heat in it, and also any form of um, calcification, which Carolyn, I do see calcification in your liver. Uh, don't panic about it. Um, we get a lot of crazy dreams and we can actually have some dreadful nightmares. Now, a lot of people will be told that this is typical of menopause. Well, the fact is you fix your liver, you fix your menopause. I'm living testament to it and I do it for other clients. So um, crazy dreams can also be impacted upon through whatever you've been watching before you go to bed and then what you mix that up with with things that you might be worried about with family members, an overactive mind that's just not giving you any peace. Other ways that you can have crazy dreams come in is because of the consciousness, the people working out there that are trying to push everything out into a fifth dimension, that are trying to push it out there to different alien worlds and portals and all that sort of stuff. So we can be impacted upon. The best thing you can do is wrap yourself up in the most beautiful silver light. Ask your guides to stand with you and help you to have a peaceful sleep. Um, and let your body rest. And that's for all of you. Um, <laughs> Sandy. I can appreciate that. Just talking to mine gets on my nerves. I have to be super patient. Um, yes, you're, I'm sorry, Sandy, but your dad did also have the chuckle. So that immediate chuckle from me, I'm going to say, was uh, generated from your dad. And he, for some reason, thinks that it's very entertaining that you... Um, that you are finding your mum getting on your nerves and he says you might like to reflect back to uh, you getting on their nerves particularly when you were around 18 17 18 he says oh like that <laughs> that's what his attitude is he's as happy as larry i might tell you he's having a grand old time and um he just thinks that life is as it is down here and you just got to deal with it that's what he said, Sandy. Sorry about that. <laughs> Elsie, you're very welcome. Thank you. And thank you for your appreciation, everyone. Oh, my word, we're out of time. Um, thanks, Regina. That's beautiful. I'm just going to read your uh, comments before we have to go because there is another show after me. Um, that's beautiful, Veronica. Thank you all so much. That's pretty typical, Antoinette, but we've got to be able to hone that in and understand what it really um, means. From um, Carolyn from Melbourne, God bless you, love. Keep well, keep smiling. I hope you're premier over there. Get some brains soon. Um, the um, Adrian, I'm so glad you um, that you loved the beautiful um, egg, the Fabergé egg. Fabergé eggs are extremely expensive, so you can say you were wrapped up in a Fabergé egg today. <laughs> uh, right, oh. oh, thank you, Sandy. Thank you. It has been an absolute pleasure and an absolute thrill to be with you all today. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you for allowing me to bring forward the rainbow and the gold light and then to bring up all of the beauty of Mother Nature of um, our beautiful Mother Earth uh, through your feet. God bless you all and I hope that you can feel that energy as you go through the rest of your day. 
Now, all of my links are in the information for you. I'd love you to join me in the Heal with Gwenda community. So that link is there. If you would like to have your own personal healing session um, or find out about more of what I do, then my website, www.healwithgwenda.com. Um, you can go and have a look-see there. I am about to put up some new information, some online courses and exciting stuff. So watch that space. Uh, and the links for booking with me is also there. So again, thank you so much for being here with me today. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I will see you all again next week. Take good care.